In poker, you need patience, poise, and a stoic stare down. But we've ripped up the script and thrown in some wild cards. Gay time, baby! That's not how I thought the hand was going to go. I'm loving to see Jason Mercier in the Hurt Locker. Back to you, Mike. Can the Sharks handle the pressure? That's a scary looking stage, a scary looking cage, and a scary looking lineup. The players are probably a little less likely to bluff me because they're probably a little afraid. Adding new elements to the game, emphasizing deep, high level strategy, I think I'll have the biggest edge in the format. There's even more reason to try and get one up on your opponents. I'll have something to needle them about forevermore. Or will the prey bite back? Go in there. Boom. Me and you, girl. It's going to be very difficult. But being the sportsman, I'll rise to the pressure environment. Winning the Shark Cage qualifier has been my biggest achievement. I'm looking forward to putting these sharks into the cage. Expect the unexpected. We're in Barcelona for Heat 6 of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. Today's prize? A ticket to the final, where it's winner takes all for a million bucks. And as usual, we're all about the bluff. This is how it works. If you successfully bluff the river and get your opponent to fold a better hand, then you'll send that player to the cage and they'll be out of action for an entire orbit. But if your bluff gets picked off, then you'll be spending some time behind bars, thinking about where it all went wrong. Time for the players to take their seats, but before they're unleashed, let's find out their all-important table positions. As always, the online qualifier will take seat one. But from where will the sharks feed? Which one of you gentlemen would like to go first? I'm ready. Oh. If I had to pick one person that has the edge, I would go with myself. Jason's a, a legend, someone that I looked up to when I was first starting out. I don't think anyone's going to get a bluff past me. I love Sam. He's great fun. He taught the hind legs of a donkey. Played with Liv for years. To get to bluff her and send her to the cage would be uh, Pretty cool. Okay, five. Uh, Six seats. Uh, on the end. I'm not intimidated by him uh, just because of his size. Seems to be if you stare at people long enough, they actually believe I'm going to hit them. Go on. <laughs> Surprise. Mike's at the absolute pinnacle of the game right now, but maybe the qualifier will come through and show the pros how it's done. Let's welcome our online qualifier to the table all the way from New Delhi. Is the New Delhi already finished? Hot corned beef, here I come. Woo, game time, baby. Always got to be the last person clapping. <laughs> I win. Good luck, lady, all the way from India. <laughs> My name is Muskan Sethi. I'm 25 years old and I'm from New Delhi, India. I'm sorry to say that, but in India, people don't even consider poker as a sport. And then if a girl's doing it, you can't even imagine what all you have to go through. What I really like about poker is that you can destroy egos, especially if they try to put you down because you're a girl. Okay, then <laughs> that's it, they've had it. I love Liv Buri. At such a young age, she achieved so much. I have, like, so many pictures with her. She came up to me two years ago in Vegas, and she's just talking and talking and talking. Hi. <laughs> oh, nice to see you again. Are you playing? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to tell you the last time I saw you, remember? She's like, Liv, you remember me? You remember me? I was like, yes, yes, I do. And she's like, ah! To play with her on the same table, actually. Oh, it's insane. 
You have to help me knock all of them out, then you go heads up. <laughs> <laughs> nice, we'll have some fun. Let's beat up the boys. Yeah. I dream about being on the feature table. I dream about playing with the pros, beating them one day. Heat six about to get underway. Everyone starts this heat with a million in chips. The blinds are 5K, 10K. It's rare that you're not the best dressed person at the table, Liv. You've, you've been outdone. Rare. I'm not I'm talking serious. about Jason, by the way. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jason was like, well, I, I do What's look up, bro? <laughs> yeah. Dan or a problem? Action's been folded to Sam, who's got A6. James, shh, shh, shh. This is the quietest Sam will be all day. Let's just enjoy this. He raises. Ace nine for Mike Timex McDonald. He folds. Mike Tyndall calling on the button with Queen Jack. Ace ten for Jason. Well, it is the best hand. Jason re raises. He probably thinks he can pick up some dead money here by not letting anyone see a flop. Sam's folding. He's on the, uh, yeah. Mate, yeah. too. Nothing, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One sip of beer. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll call. <laughs> I'll call. Uh, what were I in? 20, 50, 70. 82. All right, yeah. Suddenly got a very lads on tour atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> How come the only people who think being called a lad as a compliment are lads? Well, Jason has paired his 10. He's now a three to one favorite. Like exploding through a locked door wearing a hockey mask, this hand is all Jason. He bets. Well, Mike should be folding this, but his nose tells me he's not exactly the kind of guy who backs down easily. He calls. Maybe trying to get lucky. Maybe he'll make a play for this pot on a later street. Well, that's an interesting card. Mike now has the advantage with a pair of queens. Jason has picked up the nut flush draw. It is a bit of a scare card for Jason, though. He's checked the action to Mike. Who bets? Mike seems to know exactly where he's at in the hand. And with a pair in the nut flush draw, Jason cannot fold, but he might think about putting in a raise. Remember, each player has 30 seconds per decision. Jason's shot clock. It's running down fast. He calls. We're going to the river, and the shark cage is in play. It's the eight of hearts, and Mike has a lock on the hand. Jason checks. Great spot for a value bet. With the shark cage in effect, he could get called light. I don't know why I just didn't pick up two. Oh, yes, go roll on. Two of them. got to pick a card. Oh, sorry. Remember, players have to use the cards in front of them to declare whether they're value betting or bluffing. Yeah, that was very weird. Weird that you're about to get taken to Value Town by a lord. How, when do I get more of these? <laughs> Start of the second level, you'll get another one. Jason's asking about the time bank chips, which extend the clock. That's not how I thought the hand was going to go. That's pretty much a guaranteed thing. When you play against me, it probably won't go how you planned it. You have to remember you're not playing against a professional. Which should make it easier? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> Jason has added 30 seconds to his clock. Come on, are we allowed to distract him? I'm loving to see Jason Mercier in the Hurt Locker. Did you hit a queen? How did you hit a queen? Value bang. I have a nice block. This is where I play against absolute numbers. Absolutely nice to be red. Correct. Jason calls. I did hit a queen. Oh, uh, that was value. Yeah, it was. <laughs> what did you think he had, Jason? He's got a queen. Can you not beat that? No, he can't. Not only did Mike have a queen in his hand, but he's got one in his family tree. Marinate on that, Jason. Let it sink in. Very nice. There we go. Queen and country. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that was sickening. I would, would, would say, expect the unexpected. 
Queen was a dream. So Jason takes a big hit to his stack. Mike, the early chip leader. Mike Tyndall. I've never heard of Mike Tyndall. Ex-England rugby captain. I don't know who that is. Rugby World Cup winner. Is he the satellite qualifier? Damn it. I definitely know who he is, as I'm a big rugby fan. I'm interested to see whether he'll be reckless the way you might think a rugby player would be, or if he would be aware of his image and be a little more on the cautious side. They look at my face, they see it's a bit battered. So they might think I like a fight, so you've got to use that to any way to your advantage. Woo, game time, baby! Doesn't matter how muscular you are. Doesn't change anything at poker. Now I'm just going to concentrate on having a bit of fun. I'll tell you in a little while whether it worked or not. To be fair, I also thought he was a qualifier. He was cool about it. Where did Timex come from? Um, when I first started playing it online, I just wanted to choose like a random screen name, was wearing a Timex watch. Just looked at this. First thing I looked at. Right. Do you play online at all? Uh, a little bit. What's your screen name online? I think it's Lord12. Okay. How do you choose that? Uh, basically, um, my wife is the Queen's granddaughter, so all my <laughs> rugby players used to call me the Lord as soon as I started going out with her. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Mike, do you boys play much poker on tour? Um, we used to play religiously. Then once the older guys died away, a lot of the younger guys don't, don't play, so yeah, it sort of died out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. He's got me, yeah. Uh, all the younger guys now with their Walkmans and their Game Boys, their laser disc players and their Rubik's Cubes. Action's been folded around to live on the button. She passes. King 10 for Sam in the small blind. He calls. Limp it in so he can call a raise if Mike does raise. With Ace-9? He does. Mike knows he's very likely to have the best hand when Sam limps in. Sam calls the race. The flop is queen high. So ace high is still the best hand. No, I'm really scared of Timex. <laughs> what am I doing? Me too. <laughs> Don't look at him when he's there. No, when that's he the whole thing. I want to stare back at him. No? Like, Timex? Yeah. <laughs> Timex checks behind and pairs his ace on the turn. Sam has checked for a second time and Timex checks again. Maybe he's hoping he can get Sam to bluff at the river, snap it off, send him to the cage. It's a nine on the river, giving Timex two pair. This would be a bad time for Sam to bluff. And just look at his face. I think that looks like a bluff to me. Yep. He's playing the bluff card. And he overbets the pot. Which polarizes Sam pretty much to bluffs and sets her better. And none of those value hands are all that likely. I think Mike calls here most of the time. He never folds. Could be thinking about raising. 10 seconds. You'd have a really hard time getting a worse hand to call a raise, though. Timex playing a time bank chip. And he calls. Sam Grafton's going to the cage. He's been really quiet since he sat down, but all that is about to change. Come on, yes. man. It's the <laughs> slow roll as well. Yeah. Oh, you think about raising. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, that would have, like, saved me the shark cage as well, wouldn't it? Oh, no, man. Can I take a beer with me at least? No. I can take the beer to the... Great, we've got this order. Slow clap, you in. It's all right, he's the pro. He's the pro. You'll be joining me soon enough. Boom. Me and you, girl. That was supposed to be us. Yes. Bye, Sam. Luckily, from that distance, his voice will seem like a normal volume. And Mike will get a bluff bonus worth an extra 100,000 chips in the final. Should he make the final? How's the view over there? Ooh, can't believe, of all the people as well, Mike as well, I feel that makes it worse. <laughs> this might be the tastiest beer I've ever had. This is, this tastes like victory right here. Yum. Going in the cage was nowhere near enough to shut Sam up. He never shuts up. Timex, you could look a bit less smug about it, mate. I mean, you're not fooling anyone. 
<laughs> when I get out of the cage, hopefully I can uh, get my revenge on Mike McDonald. Before the break, Sam Grafton tried to bluff Mike McDonald, but the Canadian called that bluff, and that meant bar time for the blabbermouth. Can I take a beer with me at least? Sam's still stuck in the cage, leaving the other players competing for his big blind. <laughs> Muscan, we have action. Timex is raised. Mike's got ace king. Why are you staring at my tips for? They're not yours. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Mike re raises. Ah, oh, this is great. Action folded back around to Timex. I can't let you get his blind. <laughs> I feel really lonely as well. Might I suggest online dating? Meanwhile, a lovely bond is developing between Timex and Mike. Well, they both hit top pair on the flop. Mike with the better kicker. Dangerous flop for Timex. Mike bets 50,000. Once you call pre-flop with an ace, you can't fold when you pair it. Timex calls. Deuce of hearts on the turn. Uh, is it, we, they're still imposing the shot clock <laughs> over there. Wait, wait, wait. You got 25 seconds. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Yeah, He's got 25 time. seconds left. Uh, how long does that actually be? Uh, hang on. Is Jason using his home bank before paying people off on the river again? Is that uh, what it is? I've got 20 seconds. Shh, I'm trying to just think now. Well, Timex checked, but Mike is making Sam suffer. This is mean. Even meaner because Sam's beer is empty. Come on, guys. Somebody do something. Wait, wait, five. <laughs> He eventually bets. He could have waited at least two more seconds. I'm calling, but I'm not sure if I should take the extra, you know, 18, 18 seconds. You should get a bonus chip just for getting Timex to play along with something. Nah, I'm kidding. He's a good sport. He calls. We're going to the river, and the shark cage is in play. Three of hearts. Don't think either player will be bluffing here. You got me confused, so I'm going to check as well. Check, check. Let's see I, I shall first. In this yeah, tournament, okay. Mike Tendall holding his own at poker. I wonder how these boys would fare in the scrum. Have you ever seen a sadder sight? I got uh, you yeah, blind. So come on, what? How many, how many hands blind, left? Sammy boy. How many hands left? This, this is the last one, bro. All right, so just move it along, guys. Move it along. Do you want to see your Raise blind? Raise and take the blinds. No need to be a hero. Oh, is it? Is it Mike's big blind? Yes. Oh well, he's obviously defending then. I mean, <laughs> can you like maybe like five x and maybe you can get him to fold like queen nine off? <laughs> Not queen nine. Maybe queen four. Yeah. Or something. He ain't folded a big blind since well, I don't know when. Two thousand and six, probably. That's so Sam. Where do you even start with Sam? I, I've never met a louder person in my life. This is my TV voice, and this is how I speak on TV. Sam Grafton, and that's how I'm going to speak throughout the Shark Cage. It's annoying, isn't it? I don't think a sledgehammer to the face could shut Sam up. I'm out of beer now as well, so... Come, Mike, get another round. Sad times, and I'll, I'll send the text through. Obviously, I'm very British. I don't needle too much, but... You know, we have a tradition of a bit of banter. Jason's chips are up for grabs as well. Someone's going to get the fish before... And he's getting them in. <laughs> he's probably one of the loudest people I've ever met. And go. Finally. I mean, it's one of the slowest orbits of poker I've ever seen. All right, audio department, break's over. Time to start riding the levels again. It's like watching an old lady get off an escalator. <laughs> I never thought I'd be happy to return to a seat with the online winner on my left. The online winner. Welcome back, the online winner. That's all. But you haven't been sitting in the corner since about seven, huh? Yeah, I'm one of those. I was one of those kids at school. I need constant attention as well. It's very hard for me out there. You know, it's way more of a punishment than it would be for most people. <laughs> Remember, the winner of this heat advances to the PokerStars.com Shark Cage Final, where it's winner takes all for a million dollars. Action on Jason, he folds, lives out. Sam has 8-4 suited. Oh. Boy, he's been itching to play. It's 
Mike Small Blind. And that's a race. Why not? Sam Limp the Muscan hasn't played much, but now we'll see if she's a must scan or a must can't. She re raises from the big blind. I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, that was I don't just... want that. Oh, I see. That's how it is, it might. Coming after me. It was a good read and a good play by everyone but Sam. How did you start playing? Um, two years back, I used to just watch poker. Then I started playing on Facebook. Of these what do you like to play online? You play cash or? Uh, no, tournaments. Tonys? Yeah. Every Sunday night is my nice. favorite night. I feel there's, there's a reason I was destined to be here. I had lost my mom uh, in Jan, okay? So after that is when I really started playing poker. She would just love to watch me play. She like told me that, you know, I have a feeling that you will, you know, do something really big one day. She was a politician, she was a social worker, and she used to, you know, do a lot for poor people. All my life, she was my hero, and she is my hero. If you win a lot of money playing poker, I feel it's a big responsibility, and you should help out other people. You should do something for the society, do a lot of social work, do a lot. So I promised her that I'm going to take one of the tournaments down. So this one's for her. This one's actually for her. Muscan's an aspiring artist who's following in her mother's footsteps by working heavily in philanthropy. Fitting, because Muscan is Indian for charitable artist. Well, Muscan is third in chips. This heat is Mike and Mike in the evening with Tyndall and Timex one and two on the leaderboard. Jason Mercia, the short stack. Action folded to the blinds. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Here it is, the moment. How much you got, 600-ish? Yeah. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still in the, in the mix. A lot of cage potential, blind versus blind. She's giving it me that sharky look yeah. as well. She's like... Setting you up. Liv raises with 10-5. Hang on a second. And yes, it is a bluff. I'm in then, I'm in. Nice. I call you a bluff. Well, this hand's weird already. <clears throat> Liv won't be bluffing anymore. She's just flopped trips. <laughs> Must be nice, Liv. She bets. Start with an absolute pile of trash and turn it into modern art. Sam has a couple of backdoor draws, he calls. And Jack High could be the best hand blind on blind. Oh, he's paired his Jack on the turn. It is a Jack, but it's not going to put him ahead of much that he wasn't already ahead of. Liv slows down. She checks. Sam checks behind. We're going to the river, and the shark cage is in play. The board bricks out for Sam. Sam may think his only shot at this is to catch a bluff, which means he has no shot at this. Liv bets. She hasn't selected a card yet, but make no mistake, this is all about value. And Sam's looking at his bluff and value bet cards. All in. And he decides to turn his hand into a bluff and shoves the river? Whoa, I love the move, Sammy boy. Way to think outside the cage. How much is it? Liv might actually fold. She's not beating any hand that would do this for value, and not a lot of players are going to bluff off their entire tournament. She throws in another time bank chip. Remember, if she does fold, she's going into the cage. All right, I got a minute. I can use this. So it's decision time for Liv. And for the table loudmouth, it's do or die. When Liv bet the river, I don't think that I beat any of her value bets. So I elected to turn my hand into a bluff. Is there a chance I might be sent to the cage? Of course, there's always a chance. <clears throat> what does that mean? Will Sam be sent to the rail? Or will Liv be locked up? I need to know! Crafty, crafty. Tiger tweets, shark cage. We're still six-handed here at the PokerStars.com shark cage. But before the break, Sam Grafton risked his tournament life with an audacious bluff. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Can Liv make the call and send Sam to the rail? 
I think this move works half the time. I'm just not certain which half. Am I allowed to show a card? Yeah. I can show it all. He's done. <laughs> Live calls. That is too bad. I think Sam's probably my favorite non-pro. Not Sam, buddy. What was it? What was the other guy? Sigh. I won't really jump oh, up for 10. Have you got me covered, yeah? I can't believe I busted for Jason. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like of all the, all the rubs, you know? My man. All right, buddy. Nice playing with you. Nice playing with you. Always a pleasure. My man. So nice playing with you. Take it easy, yeah? Good game, guys. Good luck. Cheers. Take care. Yes, I'm not first out. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Sam won't be going to the cage because he's out, but Liv still gets a bluff bonus. Man, I wasted on my time chips. I shouldn't have done it. Sam, if you could just go round up some beers, you might as well make yourself useful. Yeah, you got a bit I'll of spare get, time. Get some money hand. by like, <laughs> waiter servicing for you guys. That really is a bummer. Sam's hilarious. And he's out of the running for that $1 million first prize. So five handed action. 45. And Timex raises with ace 10. Mascan is 7 9 suited. She calls. The blinds both pass. These two will go to the flop. Look at Mascan facing her fears like Hardigan picking up a check. Timex with a pair of aces. Mascan with a pair of nines. Timex checks. Mascon's got a pair. She'd do well to just check behind, keep the pot small, try to get to showdown, or bet, be, bet because not scared. And like long lines at airport security, Mike McDonald is going nowhere. There's the call. Mascon attempting the stare down. Not bad. A six on the turn. Doesn't change anything. Mike very likely to check again. Yep. Well, it looks like she's fully committing to this bluff. Just a tip for you folks at home. When you toss your chips out with a flourish like that, you're more likely to have a weak hand. You're overcompensating, like owning an Italian sports car. Once again, Mike calls. Maybe she gives up now. Nope, she's just river trips. <laughs> Sweet fancy Moses, isn't that the best? Don't look at your chips yet, it's not your turn. Mike checks for a third time. Now watch how gently she bets now that she has it. Yeah, we are on the river, so the shark cage is in play, but this is a value bet from Muscan. And it's a big bet. Back to you, Mike. Timex may not be about the physical tells, but he may figure there's no way she fires thrice with air. But the shark cage makes this interesting. She's got extra incentive to bluff, and really nothing but a nine got there from the flop, so this is gonna look more suspicious than the World Cup selection process. Timex requests more time. X. Such a quick bet. I really don't want to end up in that shark cage. That would not be fun. How much is it? 425. How about paying off a huge value bet? Also not fun. Not the first time Timex has been baffled by a woman. Five seconds. <laughs> Maximum of two. All right, you use them all. Thanks for explaining the rules to Timex, rugby player. Are we sure Timex is thinking this long? Are we sure it's not just watch product placement? Look at him, he's all discombobulated. He can't even do his trademark stare down. I look so stupid on TV. Eh, it's not so bad. Another one? I'm gonna keep I'm, staring at you. You're gonna keep staring at me, all right. Well, Mike's smile software has finally kicked in.
I'll just I'll just head to the shark cage. Alright. He folds. What? Yeah. Yeah, Timex isn't going to the cage, but he'll have to see this on TV before he knows whether or not he folded the winner. Maybe she was value betting a jack. Well, Mascana certainly found her groove. Still sitting in third place on the leaderboard. My boy! The return of the squid. I was lonely in the green room. I was super lonely. Oh, look at that! <laughs> My man. Thank you very much. You're a true gent. We thought he was gone, we thought we were gonna have a quiet poker game, and then Sam shows up with a dozen beers in his hands. Thank you. The table was thirsty and he had, he had to do the right thing, and he did, which, you know, it only puts him up in my estimations of a bloke. I mean, we should rename him the yo-yo. It doesn't matter how much you bust him out, he's still around. Uh, I'm gonna retire to the rail, but I'm gonna watch. I'm watching closely, I'm gonna see how it starts. Back in the cage. Him coming back definitely livened up the mood, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was fun. Who's winning the case? You know, you didn't. Just you, you, bro. Just you. No, come on. Really, just yeah. you. And guess what? You should have been in twice. He came back, he supported the table, and but more importantly, it was a waitress, which was fantastic. Guy brought y'all a beer. There's no need to insult him on top of that. Oh, man, nice glasses. Nerd alert. So Mike Tyndall is still the chip leader, and Jason Mercier is still struggling after losing that hand early on against Mike. Mascan back in the action, raising here with Jack-9. Having a big hand like that against Timex is sometimes all you need to find your mojo. Action folded to Timex in the big blind. Queen-3 suited. This is the kind of hand that folks like Timex will say is profitable to defend. Although it is only profitable if you're Timex, so keep that in mind. Not much for either player on the flop. Mascan continues. Mike's got some backdoors, but if he calls here, I think he's really looking to outplay Mascan. He does call. Well, talking of backdoors, Timex picks up a diamond draw on the turn and still has the best hand with Queen High. Gonna be super hard to get him the fold now. Timex has checked for a second time. And Muscan bets again. Timex with his Queen High flush draw. Calls. We are going to the river. Power up the shark cage. Seven of spades pairs the board. So Timex's queen high is still the best hand. Now this is interesting. Because Timex has the best hand, if Muscan bets and he folds, see ya! $585,000 in the pot. Can I see your black chips? Here we go. Scum bets less than half the pot and slides out the bluff card. So if Mike folds queen high, he's going in the cage. She's got him in a spot again. And the problem with Mike's hand is he's not even beating some of the hands she would be bluffing with. I wasted all my time chips last time. Yeah, you can steal some of mine. As I said, I'm not using them. <laughs> Five seconds. He folds! Yes. folds. Into the cage! Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> nice. Woo! Time X! Going there! Bye, Mike! Bye! <laughs> Not only did he get sent to the cage, but they celebrated with a horrifically awful high five. <laughs> mean. Who do you think will be the first person to puke in there? Drink up. And Muscan gets a bluff bonus worth an extra 100,000 chips at the final table. What's it like in there, Mike? This way. <laughs> oh. oh, my hearing's so bad. It's fantastic, yeah. <laughs> I know he's famous for staring down at people and people get really scared. He was getting uncomfortable when I was staring back at him. 
I'm gonna keep staring at you. You're gonna keep staring at me, all right. I was just soul reading and I somehow got inside his soul and I knew that he's got a weak hand. I tried bluffing him. It was amazing when he actually folded into that face. Yes, into the cage. It was so much fun. When she celebrated, said, oh, I'm sending you to the shark cage. Good. It was slightly embarrassing. It seems the king of the stare down has met his nemesis. It's terrible. Do you have what it takes to put your poker idols behind bars? You could qualify for series two of Shark Cage at pokerstars.com. Our online qualifier has succeeded where most have failed. Before the break, Muskan Sati broke the legendary poker face of Mike McDonald. I'm gonna keep staring at you. And pulled off a bluff to send him to the cage. Yes, into the cage. Woo! Go in there. Man, I can be regretting that. After spending an agonizing orbit behind bars, Timex bounced back. I'm lucky, yeah. Ending a tough day at the office for Jason Mercier. Can't win them all. Now, only four remain in the hunt for a seat at the final table of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. And in the final, it's winner takes all for one million dollars. I'll take aces this hand, okay? You know, at showdown, the best of these four hands. That's the important thing. The comedy stylings of Mike McDonald, everybody. Ace king for Mike Tyndall. He raises. I actually have an extremely good hand. <laughs> Pocket nines. All in. Yeah, cool. It's a race, like window versus aisle. Slow roll. Ace oh, king. Oh, that's right, that was a slow yeah, roll. Aces, <laughs> yeah, aces. Oh my god. This is how much people hate me. You gotta I, they, they just, you know, they're like, they see an ace and they're unhappy, hoping I have ace. Ace king king. Yeah. That's how much people hate me. Ace this just shows what my reputation's ace. like right here. Every single person wants me to lose. Even my parents at home probably want me to lose this. <laughs> nah, they're just big rugby fans. With the nation behind him, the Lord goes to a flop. <laughs> and the flop gives the Lord top pair. Why is it I only think negative thoughts right now? <laughs> yeah. be I should be keep ecstatic that I've just keep, hit on Keep now. thinking those negative nine. thoughts. Nine, anyone, nine. Anyone have a nine? <laughs> yeah. You had a nine? No, I'm saying oh. I want a nine, though. I appreciate oh, oh, it. Oh, oh. <laughs> You want to you want to keep the Why fish. You, you want to keep the fish in the game. You don't want me to go home. It's yeah. me and you against the pros, and you're back in the pro. She knows she can bluff me. Of course, she wants me in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Timex will be eliminated unless there's a nine on the turn or river. God damn it! What's the what my odds? It got to be pretty good down there. Twenty-one to one. Yeah. Twenty-one to one. Yeah. Angel. Angel. The river. Is another king. Timex is out. A round of applause for Timex. Great playing with you. Right. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hope you win. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. was the worst thing to happen to a Timex since even the smallest amount of moisture. Shark Cage was just a complete 180 from every other tournament you play. I just really enjoyed it. Yeah, Magic Mike. It's unbelievable what he's achieved at uh, his age, and we seem to bond. What a great guy. I'd definitely be cheering for the satellite qualifier to win. Coming here all the way from New Delhi, like, this is probably, like, one of her best chances. I think she played well, and I'm not one of those people who's going to kiss someone's ass and pretend that they played well. I think she actually played well. Wow. Well, now that we're three-handed, there's no more shark cage action. And Mike Tyndall continues to dominate this heat. I want to see you chug that beer, Tyndall. Be you're far too sober compared to be us. you, my lady. See Cheers. You. Cheers, guys. Hope the queen's not watching. I know she usually does. Oh, look at this. Do you see this? Chug, chug, chug. What are you ask? Lightning speed. Show off. Can afford a beer. Livers the table short stack. I'm all in. And she's shoving with King 8 suited. Cool. Well, that's not good. Lives live. But Mike is a 62% favorite with ace nine of diamonds. Here he is, <laughs> the Lord. Alive. One by one, putting the pros to the sword. <laughs> <laughs> that's unfair. <laughs> I'm good at these. 
back in England. This guy's like 30th in line for the throne. I'm not going to like not root for him. He could be on my, he could be on my, the 50 pence piece, you know, 10 years from now. <laughs> in the tower, maybe, for you. I think he'd do it. Mike Pez is nine. Liv's got three immediate outs, but she does have every backdoor imaginable. Backdoor eights. Backdoor eights is a long shot. Backdoor eights. <laughs> yeah, a long I, shot. I like that. Backdoor eights. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, backdoor eights. I'm quite happy to back down. Of diamonds. Let's make it exciting. <laughs> of course, the king still works too. Hmm. Well, it's the jack of diamonds on the turn. Uh, well, that increases my odds. Black turn, black turn, black turn, black turn, black turn, black turn. Ten, ten, ten. Come on. She can't win with the deuce of clubs, though. <laughs> Trust me, I got your back, buddy. I got your back, Come Lord. Come on, Sam. She can't win with the deuce of clubs. <laughs> oh, why does that feel like he's Here putting a comes. bad omen on me? The biggest bricky you've ever seen. A bad omen. The river is a bricky. Oh. Let's have a round of applause, please, for Liv. Good luck. Good luck. Get him, get him. It's because she made me chug my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Poker gods repaid me. <laughs> one by one, the headliners have fallen, leaving the understudies to fight it out for a starring role in the final. Oh my god, I'm finally heads up. I don't believe this. It's going to be a little tough. But I'm gonna concentrate, I'm gonna focus. I'm amazed that I'm about to go heads up. I didn't think I'd get here. We've managed to get rid of the pros. It's not that I have to face a Nibori or a Timex or someone who's gonna get me all nervous. Moose Kani, she's a good player. She's got me a little bit rattled. I just hope I do it, I just hope I win. And as this heads-up battle gets underway, Mike has the chip lead over Muscan. All right, let's find out who's going to win. Let's have a round of applause for him, everybody. Um, where did all the professional poker players go? Don't they always win? Did you clap yourself? Is that, is that allowed? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Classic Tyndall right there. Mike's on the button. In the small blind, he has queen three suited. That's the hand Timex got his lunch eaten with. Mike raises. Muscan with ace jack. Certainly a re raise is in the works here. And that's what she does re raises. And Mike calls. It's not a huge re raise. The call seems reasonable in position with suited cards. The flop. Gives Mike a full house, and Muscan is practically drawing dead. This guy's won a Rugby World Cup, and he's married to a princess. Clearly, he runs good at life. Muscan continues for about a third of the pot. I wonder if professional athletes all sigh when they score the winning goal, because that's what they do when they have monster hands in poker. Save the drama for your mama and call. 10 seconds, Mike. He calls. Muscan now officially drawing dead. When you get called on that flop, your opponent can't have too many hands you're ahead of. Sorry. Even a three might not fold to a second bet. She checks, and Mike checks behind. You suspect, Tyndall, you suspect. Muscan pairs her jack on the river. It's a good stare that you got. She checks again. Mike going for value. Mike's bet's so small here, she might think she has to call. But it seems like he's going to have a queen here so, so often. He's pretty much screaming strength right now, and I'm just talking about his delicious rippling muscles. What? 10 seconds. Muscan requests more time. Hopefully she'll come to the right decision here. Next round is worth a million dollars, and this guy needs money like he needs help opening a jar of pickles. Mm. 
The skunk calls. Understandable. He walked into a sledgehammer. Yes, but to be fair, you were all, hey, walk this way. I swear there isn't a sledgehammer. Sorry. He, wa take this part. he walked into a sledgehammer there. Please love your calling me. Huh? Golden boy. Yeah, Queen 3, Mike. Queen 3 in the late 90s. You could be thrown out of a casino for playing that hand. Mike now has a huge chip advantage. And the blinds are really big. He's got Queen 10. Probably one under 200, are we? He's got to put her in here, and she's got the call. Hope it's a good one. Muscon calls all in with queen four. She's dominated. Domination nation. And Mike Tendall is royalty, literally. I can't go. Yeah, I think it's... Risk. Oh, I, I can't take that. You've got to take that away with you. It's not over yet. If she doubles up, the bar stays open, buddy. He drinks fast. <laughs> By doing that, I'm expecting this to be over. <laughs> Otherwise, get me another one. That a boy. Here comes a four. Instead, it's a ten. The nail in the coffin. Okay, now you can say bye. Uh, we'll hug it in. We'll hug it in. See how we go. Wheel cards. Ooh, a bit of hope. Come on, She's King. back in. <laughs> <laughs> This would be this would be redonkulous. Please do it, do it. Just this would be redonkulous. I'm gonna high five you. If you get this, I'm high fiving you. Oh. Just give her my stack if she gets this. You got this. No, do it very slowly. Just take it. So we got four cards that can save her. The four threes in the deck. I'd love it. Any other card, and Mike Tyndall's going to the final in London. The river is a jack. Sorry that you walked, walked into that. Commiserations to Muscan. Today, there was no stopping the man mountain that is Mike Tyndall. After seeing off some of the world's finest poker talent, he claims his seat at the final table. With the final, I, I'm amazed. I'm amazed to be going. I think I'm just going to approach it in the same way. I think I had a really good fun tonight. It was like a a game at home. Can I have a beer? I'm so happy that all this happened for me. It was actually a dream come true. This is a beginning for me. I'm not going to look back, and I'm just going to keep on going. I had a blast. I have texted the wife, um, and I did just get one back, so she's pretty happy. Party time. Got through this round, you never know. Chip in a chair and all that. Mike now joins the other five Heat winners and takes the sixth seat at our final table where he'll play for the million dollar top prize. Next time. Oh, oh my God, how is this happening? You are awesome. <laughs> Emotions run high with the penultimate seat in the final up for grabs. Is this real life? <laughs> that just, no, no, that just happened to me?